Gospel for Today Daily Mass Readings and Reflection Monday of the Fourth Week of Easter May 1, 2023 Saint of the Day is Saint Joseph the Worker First Reading Genesis Chapter 1 Verse 26 Chapter 2 verse 3 or colossians chapter 3 verses 14 to 15 17 23 to 24 god said let us make man in our image after our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the birds of the air and the cattle and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image, in the divine image he created him, male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Responsorial Psalm Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Gospel Matthew chapter 13 Verses 54 to 58 Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? and they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. Reflection The Carpenter's Son In his apostolic letter Patris Cord Pope Francis presents Saint Joseph as a working father. Saint Joseph was a carpenter who earned an honest living to provide for his family. From him, Jesus learned the value, the dignity and the joy of what it means to cat bread that is the fruit of one's own labor. The Greek word tecton, which is render, carpenter, has a wider meaning of artisan, a skilled craft worker who makes or creates material objects partly or entirely by hand. Joseph would then be working not just with wood but with other objects made of metal, stone, or granite. He might even be a handyman, a jack of all trades called by the folks of Nazareth for anything that needed fixing. Accompanying him would be the young Jesus learning his trade. 
thus known to the village is the carpenter's son. Pope Francis notes that Saint Joseph's work reminds us that God himself, in becoming man, did not disdain work. Let us then implore Saint Joseph the worker to help us find ways to express our firm conviction that no young person, no person at all, no family should be without work. 